Alrighty, you guys, you probably know that I have this playlist talking about the RTX 3000 Mobile, Ryzen 5000, Intel Stargate Lake, and the RX 6000M for the next generation of laptops that are going to be showcased at CS 2021. But in today's video, I would like to tell you why I personally think that the RTX 3000 Mobile lineup is going to be especially confusing. And this doesn't mean that the desktop variants weren't confusing in their own way, because they most certainly were. But I think mobile is going to be way more difficult to understand and it's going to make it a little bit more tricky whenever you're going to want to buy your next laptop. So we're going to be talking about that. But let me just tell you about the benchmarks for the RTX 3070 and 3080. Now I have two dedicated videos talking about them so you can go and watch them. But if you remember, in those videos I told you guys that the performance is going to depend a lot and it's not going to only depend on whether it's going to be a max Q or a max P variant. It's also going to depend a lot on how laptop manufacturers are going to configure their TDPs because you're going to have differences even between the 110 and 150 watts version of the RTX uh, 3070 or 3080 because laptop manufacturers are of course going to also be able to tweak the performance um, in terms of you know how they're going to configure the TDPs. You might have some versions that are going to be 110 watts, some versions that are going to be 130 watts, and of course you might also have the ones that are completely balls to the wall, should I say, with 150 watts. And just to take a random example, if you would have an, I don't know, an Acer Helios and your friend would have an Asus um, Zephyrus, I don't know, um, the Duo or whatever would have the RTX 3080 Max-P with 150 watts TDP, you're going to see that despite they sharing the they are sharing the same name, the performance is not going to be the same. Even if you would have the very same CPU, it's going to depend a lot on how they're going to configure them. It's also going to depend a lot on how they're going to make the cooling system perform as well. So that is going to be one confusing thing. Another confusing thing is also going to derive from that one because you're going to see different base and different boost clock frequencies depending on that. And you might see again the example that I, I gave or another one just for the example's sake. You might have an MSI laptop, another friend might have a Helios P300 or whatever they decide to call them and you have the shiniest um, Asus Zephyrus Duo 15 and you're going to see that despite having the very same RTX 3080, the laptops are going to perform way different from each other. So that's why I would really recommend that you guys, whenever are going to be shopping for the next generation of laptops, you're going to pay close attention to the TDP of, of the GPU and you're also going to pay attention to the cooling system and you're going to look at the CPU performance as well. Now sadly I won't have access or I still don't think that I will have access to any of these laptops so I would say that you should probably check out Jared's tech because he's been doing some amazing work talking about all of the previous laptops that have been released so far. Honor Disown, uh, Dave2D because all of these three creators are pretty established in this sector and you might also be interested in checking out some bigger channels like Tech Testers or Linus Tech Tips or what have you because they're going to be most certainly showcasing at least these laptops and you might get a good idea of how good they're going to perform. Now if I'm going to get hands-on with those things then be sure that I'm going to be telling you more about them. However, I would also recommend you go and read some of the specialized websites that are focusing on laptops such as Notebook Check because you're going to see, you know, small differences like granular differences talking about how they're going to be locked at 110 watts or if it's a max P, you're going to see that they might be locked at 80, 85, 90 and all of those things are going to start adding up and you're going to see that there, there is going to be you know either small or some big price gaps between all of these laptops and you might find yourself scratching your head and being like why is this one with an RTX 3080 a lot more expensive it must just be just the screen or the RAM right that that just might be the only difference well just take it from me that it's not going to be all that simple. The GPU might have a completely different 
configuration and the same goes for the CPU and I'm not going to get into that detail because I have videos talking about how the Ryzen and how the Intel chips are also going to have different uh, configurable TDPs so please pay attention to that. Now the next thing that I would also like to um, take a look at is are the spec sheets for the RTX 3000 mobile lineup and I've previously shown this but you can see that the RTX 3080 has the same GA104 chip as the RTX 3070 and I'm talking about both the desktop and the mobile version because the um RTX 3080 desktop has the GA102 chip so completely different it only shares the name so here it is it's confusing yet again now you also might have spotted the lower CUDA core count which is again a little bit better than on the desktop RTX 3070 so we're going to see how that is going to impact performance but again pay attention to how the base clock frequency starts at 1.1 but you might still see some laptop manufacturers doing uh, 0.9 or 1 I could still see that happening or they can go up to 1.7 gigahertz and you can see that there is a lot of room right there that is going to impact your performance now again you have the different TDPs as well and you can pay attention to them and you can go uh, or we could go and talk about this for I don't know half an hour 40 minutes because it's a lot of things that we could have a look at but I'm just going to try to make it simple because I already think that this video is going to be um, a little bit longer than my usual videos so now let's go to the RTX 3070 mobile and you can see that in in this configuration you're going to see that they can be configured with anywhere between 1.1 and 1.62 so it's going to be a little bit closer to the RTX 3080 but I still think that depending on how they're going to be configured you might see some RTX 3070 mobile GPUs perform horribly compared to the 3080 whereas some of them are going to perform you know very close to the lower end 3080 so it's going to be a complete mess whenever you're going to try to shop for any of those but I think the most confusing of them all is going to be the RTX 3060 because this one has a base clock frequency of 0.9 and a boost of I believe it was 1.7 if I'm not mistaken and that is almost double so you can see how this I mean, I know that the 3060 is, you know, a, a lower end GPU and the 60 series might also be put in thin and light laptops because we've seen that done previously, but that's a really big gap. You might have one that is completely, uh, that is going to be complete utter, well, I wouldn't say complete utter trash, but you know, it's not going to be all that great compared to the one which is going to be able to hit those big, um, well, bigger boost clock frequencies. Now, talking about that and the TTPs, I would also recommend that you guys take a look at how you could undervolt, overclock, and get better performance out of your laptops, basically. And please, for the love of what's good and PC hardware and laptop hardware, whatever, don't put your laptop on carpet, don't put it on your bed, sheet, bed sheets, and especially don't keep it on your lap, despite being called a laptop, you know, because that is also going to impact the cooling performance so other things that um, are important to look at are going to be mentioned in some other articles and i'm going to be leaving them in the video description as well now i would also like to point out that you're going to get some other differences in terms of um, VRAM as well especially for the RTX 3080 because I'm not sure if the other versions are going to get different uh, VRAM configurations at the moment because we've seen the 3060 also presumably being featured with 6 or 12 gigabytes and I have another video talking about that but let's look at the RTX 3080 which is going to be configured with either 8 or 16 gigabytes and we've already seen uh, different laptop manufacturers um, namely Asus and Acer featuring both the 8 and the 16 gigabyte version and that is going to impact your gaming performance if you mainly want to play AAA titles with 4k textures and you know you want to do it for the next three or four years because you guys told me that you've been keeping your laptops for a lot longer than I would have imagined someone would. It's also perhaps important to note that some of these laptops are now going to start featuring 1440p panels with up to 240 hertz refresh rate panels and that is most certainly going to impact your performance as well. Of course, if you're going for a 4K 60 that 
might still work out for you but um, some of you guys have also told me that some 4k 120 hertz panels are also going to be in featured on these next generation laptops i haven't necessarily been able to find a lot of information on that but if that's the case then okay i get it it's going to be really difficult to run all of these games without having a proper GPU, so please pay attention to that as well. Now, I would like to take my time to tell you guys that I was also on Twitter today talking to Lafrit David, who you might have heard about if you have watched some other videos of mine, including uh, leaks for the Acer Nitro 5, I believe that was the last time I mentioned him. Either way, he had told me that on Tech Power Up there have already been some spec sheets for the, G for the RTX 3070 and 3080 and I would like to show them to you and see that there have been some models already mentioned there from Dell and I believe it was Pegatron and I never heard of Pegatron but I found out that they are a Taiwanese company and they have been responsible for some GT310 graphics cards you know that doesn't necessarily mean anything to you because those would be horrible in 2021. However, you can see that for both the RTX 3070 and 3080, they're going to be configured differently. You're going to have the Max-Q and the Max-P variant, and within the Max-Q and within the Max-P variants, you're going to have all of these small differences that I mentioned to you as well. Namely, for the RTX 3080, you see that you could see that they're going to have this 8 and 16 um, gigabyte version, so for VRAM, and you're going to have different configurations in terms of uh, TDP, so 120 5 watts or 150 and I'm sure that a lot more are going to start popping up because uh, those have not necessarily been publicly disclosed by uh, all of these companies that I just mentioned in all of the videos that I have made. So I would like to tell you guys to take a deep breath, you know, I'm going to take one with you as well and pay attention to whenever you're going to want to buy a new laptop what is the TDP what are the, you know the base and boost clock frequencies how is the um, screen panel quality but most importantly how is the cooling done on these laptops because I'm sure all of those things are going to impact how much you're going to like or hate your laptop and it's also most probably going to impact pricing which is another thing that I would like to shortly cover because I really don't know how much all of these laptops are going to cost other than the leak that I've shown you and I can also tell you that because of bots, scalpers, the ongoing human malware pandemic, the bloody tariffs that are you know happening at the moment and you can watch a video where I'm talking about that that one was shot yesterday all of those things and a lot more things that are going to be happening are going to impact pricing and availability and of course you can, wherever you come from if you're from India, Greece, Latvia, Lithuania, all of these other countries that I'm probably forgetting at the moment that you guys have been writing me from telling me that you have different import taxes and it, yeah everything is a lot more expensive especially laptops I really can't tell you how much these are going to end up costing but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that you guys are going to find a good deal Otherwise, maybe it might be the time to look at a 20 series graphics card, which might still do you good, you know? You might still find that that will go, is going to offer you enough performance for whatever you need to do. Either way, I am also going to be most probably streaming the um, NVIDIA and AMD broadcast that they're going to be doing at CS 2021, but I still need to check how uh, legal that is to do, especially here on YouTube. But if that will be good, I will definitely be streaming all of those things and I will be answering your guys' questions, so stay tuned for that. And if right now you don't have anything better to do, then just go and watch some other videos that I've just posted on my channel because that would make my day. Either way, I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you, hopefully, in another video. Bye-bye!